Welcome everyone to the 2018 Australian Hardware's Sustainability Report for the Administration Department. I'm Rio McQueen, the Sustainability Manager, and we've had an interesting year of 2017 and we wanted to go through the results here today. So, just to get everything rolling, I'll go through the purpose of what we've been doing. Now, as you know, Australian Hardware is really after being a thought leader within the Australian community. And as such, we're hoping to meet our IPC goals. Also, uh, take advantage of the Australian Government's direct action plans to help us reduce our waste levels by 2020. Now, the Administration Department has been focusing on this and been using the Reduce, Reuse, Recycle initiative to reduce waste by 10% by the end of 2018. Now, Australian Hardware is committed to us as environmental obligations, and as such, uh, we use the KPI of $1,000 per month spent on waste by the administration department as our objective. But additionally to this, we also looked at some things like the litres of waste produced, the life cycle uh, of recycling, the amount of recycling created, and also the overall participation in the program. Does anyone have any questions so far? No. no. Fantastic. Now with this, our outcomes have been a little bit mixed. Now it's been a really great result so far. I've got to say, when you're having a look at the amount that we've spent on waste compared to 2016 to 2017, overall there's been a 58% reduction on expenses, bringing down our waste budget in the administration department by $8,117, which is a massive result. But of course, as everything is there, we also had really positive uptakes throughout the department and also a great increase in the recycling efforts that we put on. But of course, with that, we only hit our KPI of reducing our monthly budget spent on waste under a thousand dollars six months out of six months out of 50, uh, six months out of twelve, which is only about fifty percent of what we've done. And in fact, we missed out on April, June, July, August, and S September and October, all over, uh, overspending that $1,000 limits. And even though we were able to reduce the amount spent overall, it's not many our KPIs throughout. With that, you can see the variations of KPIs that I've put forward on this slide. And we can see that even though many, many uh, months, there is ups and downs, Overall, we're about, and there has been an overall reduction, we're still over exceeding, especially around that period from June, July onwards. Now, I've been chatting to Queenie, the administration manager, and we can see that this is a year-on-year -year trend. If we compare 2016 to 2017 in these particular slides, you can see that this actually mirrors these peaks each year. And this comes down to predicted higher amounts of production by the administration department after this end of financial year period when you're producing reports, doing budgeting, and producing a lot of one set. Is that right, Queenie? Can you? Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely correct. Fantastic. Does anyone have any questions on that so far? So should, we, should we be maybe increasing it for that period, the KPI? What? To, uh, like to a larger amount because we are doing more work during that period? Well, it's very true. And, uh, you know, this is something that we really, really need to do throughout the board to always... And it is understandable that the administration department is pumping out more production at these times, more paperwork all over, and also being there. But environmental sustainability is a challenge that we're committed to meeting to meet our 2020 targets for the Australian government. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to see what the next step would be. And that would be to initiate another init uh, policy, which is the clean energy policy. With this, we're going to take up a couple of initiatives, including looking at our energy usage now. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at things like putting timers on lights, changing our light bulbs to LED light bulbs, and also moving towards things like simple policy changes like everyone turning off their computer at the end of the day. Because I'm sure you'll agree, even though we're winning the battle on paper and recycling these days there, energy consumption is still one of the biggest ones there. Now to do this, we're going to uh, help 
engage the help of our facilities manager, Philip, and we're going to put together a budget for the process. We're going to get quotes from electrician contractors to do this. And then we're going to go out and actually put together a bit of a plan, including uh, the implementation of the work done, but also creating materials for our staff and communicating this throughout with all the staff throughout as well there. And with this, we're hoping to meet this by the time frame of mid 2018, moving towards 2019 to get this completed. Bringing us back towards this reduction below $1,000 of waste and consumption every month for the year 2018-2019. Do you have any other questions throughout? Fantastic. Well, I thank everyone for taking time of their day there. And if there is any questions, please feel free to email me.